and not to mention, <laughs> girls do doggy style. Their asshole is completely exposed. I don't want my asshole ever seeing the light of day or a, or a table lamp. Nothing. I don't want to ever have my asshole pointing at the ceiling. Yeah, that's even a when tough I one. when I leave the room, I put a shirt in the back there or a cork or something. <laughs> um, you toured Europe with Fat with Bert. Ah, uh, yes, and that was a tough two weeks. What? What I don't really I what was that like? Well, Bert call and Bert's a friend and I got you got to hand it to Bert for b- being rich. He's shooting movies, he's hanging out with Snoop Dogg and oh, he's yeah. still like a normal, you know, nice fat yeah. guy. Yeah, he really is. And I appreciate that and yeah. I'll never forget it. <laughs> Some guys they got one fucking uh t-shirt sale and they're like, "All right, I'll see you in hell." <laughs> like, "Hey, thanks." Yeah. But uh yeah, thanks Tim Dillon. <laughs> but yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tim Dillon is a a very funny gay man, but but Bert is super cool. And I was like, he's like, hey, you want to go to Europe? And I'm like, trip to Europe, paid to do comedy, drinking, the whole thing. I'm in. When am I going to Europe? Yeah. And it was challenging. Really? Well, I like to drink as much as the next guy, but I'm a normal human being who gets hung over and is an introvert and right. likes being alone and all that. Yeah. And Bert's like. Drinking all night, shots, 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 eating pizza at 5 a.m., then waking up at 9 a.m., hitting the treadmill with a Coors Light, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm shitting blood, I'm trembling, you know, I'm foaming at the mouth, uh, I'm in a, you know, a Coke den with two naked guys, I'm like, what happened, how'd we get here? And he's like, hey, uh, I'm at the gym, then I'm gonna do some promo, you wanna be in my video where we roller skate in our panties? I'm like... I'm going to kill myself. This is day two. <laughs> yeah. And we got a flight tomorrow at 7 a.m. to Copenhagen. And uh, I don't Who know how works. we're, how we're going to do this. Here we go. Law 45. Hold Preach on. the need for change, but never reform too much at once. Judgment. Everyone understands the need for change in the abstract, but the day-to-day level people are creatures of habit. Too much innovation is traumatic and will lead to revolt. If you are new to a position of power or an outsider trying to build a power base, Make a show of respecting the old way of doing things. That's if true. If change is necessary, make it feel like a gentle improvement on the past. That's brilliant there shit. There you go. There you, you go. Some, some kid needs to uh, translate that into like millennial yeah. Gen Z talk. Like, yo fam, it's lit when you're yourself. Fucking. You know, or some <laughs> bullshit just so everybody gets it because I think it's a little too heavy handed sometimes, but it's all brilliant. Have you ever done anything with a trance? No, I'm not against it. Actually, I got blown in Mexico by, uh, I believe, uh, I believe a man. I don't ask questions. Did you sneak him into the shelter? No, no. Me and my friends went to uh, Tijuana, as you do. We were like 18. And they were all getting whores. And I I was like, "Ah, I don't want to do that. That feels weird. Mexican whore. You don't know what's what. And... uh, Eventually, I was like, you know what, fuck it. And I went to this bar, and I got a, I got blown. And I remember the guy had rock hard tits, and I touched his hair, and he was like, don't do that because it would move. Yeah. And uh, I was like, okay. And then I walked out, and I was feeling pretty good. And my friends were all standing outside, like, you didn't go in that bar, did you? I was like, yeah. <laughs> and they like all busted out laughing. <laughs> so it was a quiet, quiet drive home. Yeah. <laughs> so you, so you definitely got blown by a, a trans woman. Yeah, I think it was just a dude in a, in a wig. In a wig, drag. yeah. Yeah, yeah, so not even trying. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. amazing BJ. I mean, yeah. they know the equipment. Yeah. It was unbelievable. I had is a condom it, on. Is it better? You had a condom Oh, yeah, on. way, way better. better. Way better. They mm. knew, she knew what to do and yeah. all that. It was amazing. Everybody you, is bi. Apparently. You were right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. You <laughs> should be episode. able to say all the jokes, man, if you've been Ooh, there. Oh, good point. For real. I'll take it. N word. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fucked a couple of, uh, you know, <laughs> black guys, <laughs> black, black ladies. Uh-huh. Very intimidating. I know you like the white gal, the no, white, no, the white coos. Yeah, okay. Everybody, everybody. Yeah, the black gals. You, you've been with a few. Uh huh. Nah, oh, not yet, right. not yet, hopefully. Okay. If they're intimidating, why are they intimidating? Well, wow, you just assume the Lakers have been in there and, uh, <laughs> you know, just all the giant, giant men. <laughs> tough, fo- tough follow. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. The I'm, Lakers have been in there. I'm not on a tiny penis. I'm not saying I'm small, but I'm not huge. Right. So, uh, right. You're not right. LeBron. Right. Yeah, I'm no LeBron. I'm more Curry, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Bugsy Bogues. Yeah. But, but I got good veinage. Yeah. I'm all veined. <laughs> That's what girls like, for sure. You think? No. Nope. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if Dirtball, the family... 
300 people walked out there, hit that, murdered, brought that house down. Wow. And from that point on, I was like, if any of my friends fucking need that, they're getting it. it Man, was, nice. that's heavy stuff. Hmm. I mean, so are you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ate 45 crab cakes and called mm. it a night. <laughs> I do oh. love a good wedding. People shit on wedding. Oh, I gotta go to a wedding, but I love I love getting hammered in a tux. Oh, when dude, getting road. dressed up to get drunk. Oh. I love like even saying anything where I'm like, I put on a t-shirt and we go get drunk together. Yeah. I'm in. You want to move to get laid, single guy at a wedding? Get a couple pops in you. <laughs> dance with grandma. That's big. <laughs> I'm talking a slow shimmy with that old bag of bones. <laughs> oh, every gal there slipping on her own squirt. <laughs> Works every time. That's good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This broad's better than night crawlers. You know what I mean? <laughs> huh? They come jumping into the boat. But uh, Netflix is Netflix is literally has a creda. They'll they'll tell you. Oh yeah. They have quotas. They're Bart like, didn't know you have a TV show. We have a TV show. We have an Asian director. We have a woman director. And there's a. It's not. Doesn't matter. It's 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 less about. I think Whatever they're doing, business. though, they're doing. They so seem what, to be doing so what well. happened in your? So I, I had two good pitches before that. So I was loose and I was zanging and zanging and I was I was on. And we were in there with the Netflix guy and we couldn't get the video to work to play the sizzle. And it was just showing like the ceiling. And I go, oh, it's the Kevin Hart sex tape. I'm trying to make jokes. <laughs> and the guy goes, can you believe that the woman is suing him for that? I was like, well, I think it's the best thing he's ever done. Uh, it's funny. It's funny than his specials. And he was like, you know, I produced the last four of those. And I was like, oh, well, I'm just I'm just fucking around. You know, we all love Kevin Hart. He's like, I don't think that's appropriate. I mean, he does. He works with Netflix. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm just a calm, just busting ball. I love Kevin Hart. I wish I was him. He's a little guy and cute and all that. Uh, pets, too. Go see it. Blah, blah, blah. And he just, the whole pitch. I'm just, that was it. Oh. I, I'm pouring my heart out in this pitch, shucking and jiving. I'm tap dancing. And he was just like. Take right, a, thank you. Take a joke, man. Right, that's well, the whole ne- thing. Netflix is doing something right, though, aren't they? Right, look, I did a college gig not too long ago, and I was doing sex jokes, cool. and, and they're, they're clenching their pearls, and I'm like, you guys don't get it. You you call yourself progressive. You're like conservative. You're like a conser- You're like Reagan's wife. Oh, oh my God, how dare you? I'm like, <laughs> you should be having fun, you twat. You're 18. Live your life, you retard. What is wrong with you? Right. This is like, you just heard somewhere that this is bad or problematic or this is this is not good and we need to shut this shit down and I'm a hero. Like, you're an idiot. You're, you're nobody. You're a speck and you're just a bummer. And we don't need a bummer right now. We just yeah, lived in a bummer. And if you're not interested in it, there's many other things you can do. Yes. You, don't, you, don't, you don't have to fucking protest it. Just don't go to or support it. You know how many things I don't like? Right. You know how many things I don't like? Yeah. And the business that we're in. And I just don't listen yeah, to it. Yeah, you move on. I move the fuck on. And you find people you, you know, gel with and, and, and that's then it. relate to. And that's it. And that's life. Yeah, it's such a it's just like a weird dictator mentality. I don't like this. It must cease to exist. It's problem. You're like, who the f- you, you sound like Trump, ironically, this mm-hmm. guy you claim to hate. You're him. It's all defund the police, but you act like cops. You can't say this. You can't talk about that. You can't joke about this. <laughs> like, why don't you just beat me with a nightstick right now? You cut. I'm dying here. <laughs> oh shit! They're, they're that's so great. mean and uh, and hateful, and they want to ruin you. <laughs> I'm a sweet person. We gotta help people. He shouldn't have a job. Get rid of him. It's like, what are we doing? Which one is it? Are you sweet and nice and a hero? Or are you a terrifying human being who wants to ruin people's lives? Oh, man. He said fag in 1988. He's the devil. Well, how come I can't evolve? Blow me, whore. <laughs> Jesus. But uh, one time I went to a bar and my friend said it looked like a like a Marx Brothers movie. Like I was on the table. Then I, would, I grabbed the fire extinguisher and shot everybody and all this shit. But... The craziest thing, my friends were fucking mooks, like animals, you know, football yeah. playing, like white guys from the South who wore shorts and tucked their button down in and mm-hmm. wore loafers, but fucking went nuts. Yeah. And I went out with a, with a, my friends. We got drunk, whatever. I don't remember anything. I was with my girlfriend at the time. They had to drag me up to my porch at my home and she's helping, you know, and it's like a Tuesday, yeah. it's a school night. And then as a goof, they're, she's trying to get me in the house quietly because my parents are sleeping. And as a goof, they go, hey, Norman. And my girlfriend looks back and they shoot us both with paintballs and just like light up the house and light me. I'm like, <laughs> oh my know, God. I don't remember any of this. She told me. so bad. I don't remember a thing. I didn't wake up. I, I was blacked out through the whole thing. The house is, you know, the whole thing's yellow. Oh my God. And they're like, ah, they peel off in their fucking jacked up truck. 
And then my dad comes out, and he was a military guy, much like your own. He's like, yeah. what the fuck? He's having flashbacks. He's yeah. flipping out. So he comes out, and he sees me laying there covered in yellow paint and my girlfriend crying. And he's like, what the fuck's <laughs> going on? So he picks us both up. He throws me in the you know the hallway of the house. He's like, you, upstairs, now. And he, she's crying. She runs upstairs, and he picks me up and spanks me. In the living room, he, he wasn't a hitter, but he just didn't know what to do. He was like having a meltdown. Spanks me on my ass. I start laughing, and my girlfriend's watching through the railing of the banister of the stairs. And I'm like, ah, you know, my dad's spanking me. Yeah. And so he he just he like lays me down on the living room floor, and then he goes, "You get down here to her." And he's like, "What's wrong with him? Why does he drink so much? Is he depressed?" And she's like, "I don't know." And then the next day, he wakes me up at like seven. I'm like, ah, I can't move. Throws me in the shower with my clothes on, turns it on. He goes, you're going to alcohol therapy or whatever yeah. it is. And I was like, ah, oh, what? Ah. And he drove me to this lady who like was a doctor and, and I don't know, had to ask me questions, but I still had, you know, some yellow here and yeah. shit. And yeah, it was, it was a wild, uh, wild night apparently. Now